Hey guys, I have just returned from my weekly big supermarket shop. I went this time to Aldi and I took my two kids. I am exhausted. If any of you have been to a German supermarket, you can relate. The supermarket checkouts here in Germany are insanely hectic. It feels like you are running a marathon just to get your groceries through. But anyway, I'll save that for another video. I thought I would do a grocery haul. I went to Aldi this week, as I mentioned. We like to mix it up, but we go quite often to Aldi because Aldi is amazing. The prices are so great and the quality is really really great. We don't have Aldi in New Zealand. I wish we did. I think New Zealanders would love the whole concept of Aldi. It is a discount supermarket, just no frills, everything is super basic but really great quality. They do have Aldi in Australia actually. I remember going years ago like back in 2006 when I lived in Melbourne and I was not impressed with Aldi. I just was not a fan at all because the quality and just everything was not as good as the Aldi in Germany. The Aldi in Germany is just a whole different level. It may have changed now like because I've seen quite a few YouTubers from Australia doing Aldi hauls and I think it looks a lot better but um, back then it wasn't as good as the Aldi that I'm used to here in Germany. So anyway enough talking I'm going to show you what I bought. This will probably last our family about a week. There's four of us two small children, two adults, and it came to a total of 120 euros, which I think is really good when you'll see how much food that I bought. So guys, I have everything laid out on my table that I bought today, and as I mentioned, this came to a grand total of 120 euros. I love this time of year for fruit and vegetables. I got a huge big pineapple. I can't wait to get into that. A big watermelon, a bunch of bananas, I got some New Zealand apples, these are Royal Gala, I love these. I got a mango, these were quite expensive actually, so I only got one of them. Some kiwis, I got some grapes, these look really delicious. And I got this huge big tray of strawberries and they smell amazing, perfectly ripe and I just can't wait to get into these. And I got a carton here of delicious looking tomatoes. So I've got a bunch of zucchinis here and Lebanese cucumbers. I love to make zucchini noodles so these will be perfect for that. I got three small avocados. Some carrots, some red and yellow pepper, an iceberg lettuce. So moving on to the frozen vegetables. This is just like an Italian mix of vegetables and I love these. They're so tasty. Just a nice quick little side. Oh, and I got a bunch of asparagus. It is asparagus season right now in Germany and Germans are crazy about asparagus. I love asparagus too. I already had some white asparagus in the fridge so I just got the green asparagus today. I got two packets of these pureed fruits. They're like fruit pouches. My kids love them and they're really good when we're just out and about, like just to bring along when we're on the go. So here I have got some muesli. This is not gluten free actually. So my kids and my husband will eat this. I have to eat gluten free. I have celiac, which is an intolerance, an autoimmune intolerance to gluten. So here I've got a soy pasta. I have no idea what this tastes like, but it looks interesting. I've got some tomato puree, which is a really great base for pastas and things like that. I always have these on hand. I've got some mustard. My husband is a big mustard fan. And I've got this packet here of sauerkraut and you Germans are probably thinking oh no this is like a crime to have sauerkraut in a packet like this it has to be made like from scratch but I have to say this is a really great alternative if you don't have a lot of time and you just want to whip up a quick meal so I really enjoy this sauerkraut right here it's like a wine sauerkraut and they have the same type of thing in red cabbage and so this is mixed with apple it is so delicious oh my goodness it probably tastes better fresh but I don't care this is great to have on hand when you are in a rush here I've just got two things of oats um, just a staple I love to make porridge in the morning my kids love porridge I've got some gluten-free spaghetti pasta I love the gluten-free pasta from Aldi it is great and it's really really inexpensive I've got some rice cakes here I love Love to have these with avocado and pepper and salt. Just some long grain rice. So here I have got two packets of Mauentaschen. My kids absolutely love them. They're like a traditional German pasta dish. A really quick easy lunch or meal um, if you don't have a lot of time and yeah these are always a win. So right here I have two packets of these little sausages and these will be really yummy on the barbecue. 
um, I've got some ground mints. We actually have a whole lot of meat already in the freezer that we got from a farm. And so we didn't need to buy a lot of meat this week. I've got some tuna here and sunflower oil. So I've got a bottle here of extra virgin olive oil, which I use quite often in salads. And I use it quite a lot for cooking as well. So here I've got a packet of pistachio nuts. These are the salted ones. I have got macadamia nuts. I have got unsalted cashew nuts. And here I've got some dates. I much prefer the fresh dates. These are the dried ones. But they are really, really good in smoothies. So I love to add these to smoothies with banana. And yeah, they're really good. So I've got two little cans of chickpeas. I have some coconut milk. I love to make Thai green curry. And I got some lentil chips. You guys may have heard me raving about them before. They're so yummy. They're sour cream and chives flavor. They don't usually sell these at Aldi, so I thought, why not get some? Here I have got a feta dip. I think it's like a paprika feta dip. And I think it'll be delicious with those lentil chips and maybe some chopped up carrots. I got a loaf of gluten-free bread. This isn't the best gluten-free bread, but it's really good when you grill it. So I like to have this with like cheese and tomato. Three cartons of milk. This is fresh milk and this is milk that lasts for ages. It's like long hold milk, which I like to just have on hand in case we run out of the fresh milk. And I've got a six pack here of yogurt. I've got a 10 pack of free range eggs. Here I've just got a basic chicken stock, you know, just to add to meals for a little bit of flavor here and there. Got some honey. My kids love honey on toast and honey croissants and just honey anything. So I got this packet of croissants. There's four in there. So you just pop them in the oven for a couple of minutes. And obviously I can't eat them because they have gluten in them. But my kids and my husband love them. I got this loaf of bread. This is Roggen bread. And um, it's Amelia's favorite. She loves this one. So I just got a bag filled with fresh pretzels and rolls and... Everyone will have that tomorrow morning for breakfast, except me, I have to eat the gluten-free bread, unfortunately. Amelia convinced me to get this kind of pastry. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it has quark inside, which is, it's hard to explain what quark is. It's kind of like a yogurty cream cheese type thing. Got these like animal cookies for the kids. And we got some chocolate for a little treat. I love this brand of chocolate. It's actually an Aldi brand and it's so delicious. So the dark chocolate is for me and for Rob and the cookies and cream chocolate is for the kids which I will like ration out over the week. And last but not least I have four bottles of Up For Surely. If you don't know what Up For Surely is you are missing out. It is a mix of sparkling water and apple juice and it is so so delicious. Love Up For Surely. I had never tried it until I moved to Germany. So guys I really hope you enjoyed my Aldi grocery haul. I thought it would be kind of interesting especially for people who live outside of Germany just to kind of see what kind of products you can buy here and what the prices are like and that kind of thing so I would definitely recommend Aldi I'm a big fan I'm gonna go now and pack everything away thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel feel free to connect with me on Instagram and I will see you again really soon bye